everybody, Viking Sean here. Just kind of wanted to do a little update for you on a couple of new things. Um, I've got a couple of things to show you that I didn't think really fit into a video all on their own, so I thought this would be a good chance to just kind of show you a couple of things real quick. Probably won't be a long video, but uh, first of all, this is my Brad Southerd flipper, and it's still one of my favorite EDC options. A great knife. And what I did was something that I saw on uh, Pat's channel, Piao Liang. Uh, this lanyard tube, there was a steel lanyard tube that fit in between these two holes for the lanyard and went all the way through. Basically, removing that is very simple. You just remove the scales and it comes right out. It's you know just fit between those two. So it'll pop right out when you remove the scales. In doing so, I think it just made the, the knife look a lot better. Uh, these spacers are now evenly spaced. There was an extra little thing in between here which just kind of threw it all off. It's much more flow through and much more evenly spaced right here. And also that just didn't really serve any purpose at all. Even if you were to use a lanyard, there's no reason to, to have that tube there necessarily. And it looks a lot better without it in my opinion. So that was the first thing. Um, and the other thing is just this pocket clip. It's, you know, it's a good pocket clip, but the attachment part right here on mine just really stuck up very far all the way up to where my finger is right here to this edge. And I just felt it looked like it was, it didn't fit. It didn't really follow the, the lines here, um, or the flow. So basically I just took my, uh, one by 30 uh, belt sander kind of thing and kind of sanded down that edge a little bit and I, I don't think that I you know did a perfect job at that by any means but it definitely looks a little bit less out of place and it's just basically a smaller attachment point there you know it doesn't have as much sticking up away from that so just a, a minor thing but I think it looks a lot better um, you know I like these Coyote brown scales. I know some people brown's not their thing, but I think it looks really nice. And uh, overall, I mean, I'm really happy with the knife. I wouldn't really change anything else about it. So, still carrying that. That's going really well. The other thing I wanted to show you, all right, is a new knife that I picked up. And it is a hinderer. So, I finally got. A hinderer. It's an XM24. Has the uh, battleship gray textured scales. So yeah, um, you know I probably will do a little video on this just to kind of tell you what I think about it. I mean, you know I'm kind of I've been carrying this nonstop for about a week and a half since I picked it up, and there's a lot of things I really like about it. A um, couple things about the hinderer. It is a flipper, and it flips out great. Um, you know, the XM24 is the four-inch model. It's very beefy. It's a very large. Well, it's a pretty large knife, but it's it really fits well for me. It's very comfortable. But uh, yeah, basically, with the hinderers. I personally did not want to pay the full markup secondary price. Not that there's anything wrong with that necessarily. Um, I think that if you've got the, the money to do it, then by all means, you know, go ahead and do that if that's what you want and, and you don't want to wait for a hinderer and you can afford it, then, you know, go for it. Uh, personally, that's not really where I'm at, you know. I'm, there's other things that I could... Uh, probably use that money for rather than paying the full markup price that you you would have to pay if you wanted this you know with without much of a wait and you just wanted to jump on you know the first one that you could find um, also you know I don't really make it to shows so getting into a lottery was probably not going to happen at least you know I mean I hope to make it to more shows but haven't really made it to any shows so far um, you know, I don't 
get the opportunity to buy this directly from uh, Mr. Henderer because I'm not a uh, one of the service professionals that he lets buy them direct. And you know, personally, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't have a friend of mine or somebody buy it, you know, as like a straw purchase, basically. Um, you know, I know people that are in the military and law enforcement, and maybe they would, uh, they'd probably be happy to do that for me. But personally, I just wouldn't feel right taking it out of the hands of somebody that really would use it in that scenario. So I did get this knife from an authorized hinderer dealer, and you know, unlike some of the dealers, they actually sold it to me for close to almost basically let's just say about about fifty dollars more than the table price that you'd get these for at a lottery and I thought that that was more than fair because if you know the secondary market on these um, you're not going to find it for anywhere near that price uh, even at other dealer websites so I got it for a great deal I had to wait a long time for that opportunity to come up basically so it's kind of like the patience, you know, that's what it kind of paid off eventually was that I finally got it for what I thought was a good price, but, uh, you know, I definitely could have got it faster if I would have went another option. So anyway, I'm really digging it, love it, and uh, plan on keeping it for a very long time. Actually, there is a, uh, the last thing I guess is there is a... A get together that's um, posted on the USN uh, in the Rick Hinderer forum. So, if you're a member, um, go check out the the Hinderer forum and look for the February get together. And um, if anybody is going to plan on t attending that, um, shoot me a PM or let me know somehow because I do plan on being there, and uh, it'd just be kind of cool to uh, meet a few people from YouTube that are part of the community and just kind of say hi and and uh, that'd be cool so hope to see you there that's all for right now and take care see you on the next video